Hi everyone, welcome to another Stories from the Studio. Um, I wanted to show you a few more uh, works in progress that I've been working on. Um, these ones, they're all purple themed and kind of motivational or funny. Um, I have an event coming up uh, in May that is for fibro and lupus awareness. And since I have been diagnosed with both of those, that's, you know, it's a cause that's really close to my heart. And it just so happens that the, um, the color, like the ribbon color for, for those, uh, both of those diseases are, is purple. And their symbol is a butterfly. So I have um, in the past uh, made a lot of jewelry and bookmarks with um, purple butterflies, purple ribbons, um, spoons for spoony warriors and stuff. But I thought I would make some uh, mixed media pieces too that would be good for that event. Um, little things that could, you know, sit on somebody's desk and cheer them up when they're having a particularly hard day um, or good gifts for people to give uh, to somebody else. And they're not um, fully focused on lupus or fibro. It's just, that's what I was thinking when I was making them. So I've sort of been channeling the purple and the, uh, the motivational quotes that keep me going um, when I'm having bad days, things that uh, tickle my sense of humor and um, remind me that it's it's okay uh, to take a break sometimes, it's okay to rest. Um, sometimes the best thing you can do for yourself is to take it easy. But anyway, I have been working on a few of these, so these are not finished, but uh, more mixed media pieces. These are small little canvases. Each one has a different quote on it. And um, I've been doing layers again with the die cut paper and the metallic paint, which uh, I thought I should show you is actually this stuff um, in all sorts of different colors. I've been uh, really enjoying the effects that I get out of these. So there's one. And of course, dragonfly, because I love dragonflies. Um, here's some butterflies. So, <clears throat> These are things that, again, I spent, depending on the day, you know, spent several hours working on them and then I have to let them dry and come back to them and wait for the, the weather to be slightly warmer so I can spend time out in the studio. Um, but the, the base layer on all of these canvases is actually uh, nail varnish um, stuff, old stuff that's like too, too thick and goopy to be able to go on your nails anymore. I have a whole stash of old nail varnish that either has been mine or that people have given to me because they know I do something with it. And I think it's a great way to upcycle, um, you know, old products that you might not be able to use in any other way. Um, it's just so nail polish instead of paint makes a great base layer. Um, can get some cool, particularly the metallic ones have some cool effects. So um, the fumes do get to your head a little bit after a while, but it was fun doing that. And then I've been layering the extra paint and inks and paper. And this is a, um, a skeleton leaf, little paper flowers, gemstones. I've got some more of this um, kind of sandy material in there. Um, and then the layers of metallic paint, uh, stamps and everything. So definitely is mixed media. There's a lot of stuff going on there, um, but I'm planning on working more on those today um, and getting a lot more done before the event in May. Um, and I do have actually a lot more events coming up. I've been busy um, filling up my calendar and looking for, for things that would be good to showcase my kind of work, uh, particularly because it seems like the um, Flea market events locally uh, that I wanted to do just don't seem to be the right crowd for the stuff that I sell. So looking for other ones and I have lots of events coming up. So I'll fill you in on those as they come closer. Um, but keep an eye out as always on my, uh, my social media pages. I, I announce everything on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So you'll know when something's coming up. And I'm also thinking now of doing some <clears throat> social media um, uh, like shout outs in advance where if you are following me on social media and you come and see me at one of these events, um, you know, give me a it's like the secret code that um, that I put out on social media and you'll get a discount off my work. So that's going to be something to pay attention to, uh, especially coming up. So keep an eye out for those as well. And um, have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye for now.